All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to divide this one, the main important thing is we want to apply the division algorithm. So, we're going to write this using the long division format. Since you're taking 4g squared minus 9 divided by 2g plus 3, I'm going to write this as 2g plus 3 divided into 4g squared. Now, I don't have a g term, right? I have a quadratic, but I don't have a linear term. I told you guys when we first learned this, I would like you to make sure you don't have to, but I, it's very, very helpful when learning long division to give yourself a place value of 0g minus 9. All right, it's not, it's not necessary, but it's helpful, OK? So now let's just go through the division, long division algorithm, and let's work through it. Again, we've got to make sure this is in standard form, which it is, a binomial with our large um, term first. Then I just take 2g divided into 4g squared, and that goes in there 2g times. That's 4g squared, it's part of your answer. I know, I'm saying. And that's now 0g. But no, come out like 2g times 2g equals 4g squared. Right, exactly. And that's what we just go and double check. So we do 2g times 2g is going to give us 4g squared. And then 2g times 3 gives us 6g. And the reason why we like doing the place values, it just gives you something to, even though we know this is 0, it's just helpful to say 0g minus 6g to kind of help us get our answer. So we put parentheses around the whole second term and then subtract. 4g squared minus 4g squared is 0g squared, which we know multiplies to give us 0. 0g minus 6g is a negative 6g. Then we say, how many times does 2g divide into a negative 6g? And that goes in there negative 3 times. Now you multiply the negative 3 times both terms. Negative 3 times 2g is a negative 6g. Negative 3 times positive 3 is a negative 9. Bring down this negative 9 to subtract. Put it in parentheses and subtract. So negative 6g minus a negative 6g. That becomes a double negative, which is 0g, which is negative 6g plus 6g. Right, so it's negative 6g plus 6g, which is 0g, which you got. And then a negative 9 minus a negative 9, again, becomes 0. So therefore, your remainder is 0, and your final answer is 2g minus 3. Problem. Yep, I'm going to, well, what do you mean another one? Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes, do you have a problem? Question? 2g here, this 6? Uh, oh. That one? Yeah. I did 2g times 2g, which is 4g squared, and then 2g times 3, which is 6g. You've got to make sure whatever your divisor is, or your quotient is, you multiply that by both of your divisors. OK? Correct. And then you multiply by both of your terms in your divisor. OK? Now, um, Adara, what you're asking is just how it's like